2.5's changed a lot of things, and just check out the damage here before and after this new hyper carry physical damage character. Even someone like this low level Rosaria benefits so much from this. We're gonna go over this Rosaria made level 80, talent level eight, seven, and six. And this is how easy it is to maximize this damage. She can hit like a freight train, even against those things in the abyss, higher level than her, damage difference, really sort of punishing her there and even have high physical resistance. And you're still seeing her hit over and over and over again. 16, 17, 18, 19, almost 20K damage. We're not even near the tip of the top. So what is going on here with Rosaria? Well, there's gonna be a character you either already have access to right now or the Lantern Rite Festival is gonna allow you to get her for free. And this is Yoon Jean. This is gonna be an amazing character for you to have access to due to the effect of Cliff Breaker's banner. This is gonna give added damage of whatever that damage type you're currently doing. So Rosaria, physical damage, an additional bonus as well, which is gonna get boosted up by your crit chance, your crit damage in your physical damage bonus up on Rosaria as you apply the Cliff Breakers banner. I know a lot of you out there aren't like super math nerds, but this is how it's gonna work. And here's the build here. So the weapon is gonna be the Crescent Pike, the good old stay physical damage pike carry. And it's gonna give you physical damage bonus up, which is going to increase both Rosaria's damage and the damage bonus from Yunjin as well. You get the double dip on this. On top of that, the effect of it as well, the infusion needle is just very strong. Now this infusion needle proc, don't get it mixed up. This infusion needle proc is its own thing. Yoon Jean's element burst isn't gonna affect this proc. You're gonna be hitting so many times already anyway. You'll be able to utilize all those charges from Yoon Jean anyhow. So this is gonna give you a lot of bonus damage. You see those 3K, 4Ks flying around. That's just three to 4,000 bonus damage every time you hit an enemy. And this is gonna have like 100% uptime. It's very easy to keep this thing active. Now artifact selection, we have some older sets in here. We have two piece of the blood stain chivalry and two piece of the pale flame for a grand total of 50% bonus damage. So we get 50 here and then a 34.5% here. That's already 80, almost 5% physical bonus damage between just our artifact sets as well as our weapon choice there. And on top of this, there's no, how do I do this? Do I have to use elemental skill to activate the set? No, it's just set it and forget it. Ease of access, very easy to use. What we're using here as well, crit something circlet here. You wanna aim for high crit chance, high crit damage, attack percent as well as physical damage in this build. So of course we're using a physical damage goblet, an attack percent sands, and then aim for crit chance, crit damage in your artifact substats. Now, as you can see, these aren't even particularly well rolled here. This one here, attack percent eight, 14 crit damage, high energy recharge, which we don't really need for this build. And then this one here, okay, you know, crit chance, crit damage, defense, health. So nothing super substantial on any of these and we're still doing a lot of cool stuff out there. Our grand total stats, when you go ahead and look at them, we're just above 1900 attack. Then we have 60 crit rate, 130 crit damage, which is very low. If you put in some time and effort for this build, you could easily get 160, 170 or more percent crit damage. If you scroll all the way down to our physical damage bonus, 142%. This is from our weapon choice, as well as our two piece times two set and our goblets. So we have a lot of physical damage bonus up on Rosari here, and this is gonna be the magic where it happens. This physical damage bonus and our crit damage is applied to both our own damage as well as the buff from Yoon Jean. Now this isn't a Yoon Jean guide, but all you need to do is just build defense percent on her. Just defense, defense, defense. All you want is defense on here. You don't need to worry about a crit chance or crit damage if you're just using her as a strict buffer. Maybe get a little bit of energy recharge on her as well. If you have access to it, throw the Favonius Lance on bonus energy regen, and you can get some particle generation for the rest of your party. This seems very free to play friendly and allows you to get that sort of ninja assassin going on with her elemental skill, the ravaging confession, teleporting behind enemies, doing a whole bunch of damage that way, evading cool stuff. You feel sort of like you're in the matrix, right? Freezing enemies. And really let's talk about the team composition. Cause I just mentioned freeze, but you don't have to play freeze in this as well. The only two team members that you really need is Rosaria as well as Yunjin. Outside of that, it is flex city for you. Now you do want to have an electro character of your choice. You can have Raiden Shogun in there. You can have Fischl in there. Those would be the top two characters to really think about in this team composition. Fischl, pretty ease of access to gain access to. Raiden Shogun, obviously very powerful five-star character. Will come back around at some point, but you don't necessarily need to have access to her. Fischl is also fantastic. As Fischl, just like Raiden Shogun, is very good at providing off-field electro damage to do super conduct. She also has access to Undone Be Thy Sinful Hex, which you can play around in your team composition with as well. The more electro-related elemental reactions that you can perform, the more damage that she's going to do. And while there's one character that can do 
a lot of cool stuff with Fischl. Yeah, we're talking about Xing Cho with the Guha Sword, a rain cutter. You have, have seen it in the background, probably playing right now. You get access to Superconduct as well as Electro Charge between Fischl and Rosaria in Xing Cho's Elemental Burst. That's a lot of elemental related electro reactions for you to get bonus damage from Fischl, but you don't have to use Xing Cho. If you feel like you're looking for a little bit more sort of attack bonus, Bennett is there with the healing as well. So another fantastic choice. Zhang Li also have Geo Resist down and Physical Resist down with some shielding for you as well with his elemental skill. And you can also go ahead and run like Diona for times two cryo for bonus crit rate, healing as well as shielding. I've been using this team. I've been loving this team. I might actually go in and sort of max out Rosaria because she's Cool. She's got that new alternate costume sort of thing, at least for us over here outside of CN. It's an alternate costume. I like the look of it. And maybe I'll just go on in this build. Let me know what you plan on doing in 2.4 slash 2.5 down below.